Today we're talking with a food delivery service that works with local farms and purveyors. We're talking with Illuminate Foods. Danielle, so great to have you. You started Illuminate during the pandemic. What inspired you to start a business during a crisis? It's a good question. Um, basically, when all the restaurants started to close, I had made a lot of contacts with farmers over the past year and have been doing a lot of reading and writing, researching about small scale agriculture and how that food is distributed and knew a lot of it goes to restaurants and wasn't sure what was gonna happen to all of it. And it's not something you can store like manufactured goods. So I thought maybe I could try and deliver it myself and go around to farms and pick up. And that was kind of a naive thought, but I did figure out how to set up a system where I could get local food and put it in a box and deliver it to the community. And CSAs have become very popular in recent years. How does your service differ? Also a great question. So CSA is when you work with one farm and you pay them at the front of the season to support them throughout the year and they give you boxes of produce. CSAs are amazing, but you kind of have to be a good cook and know how to navigate it. It's a lot of stuff that might be challenging. So I thought if I make it a little more curated and add milk, cheese, eggs, specialty items, recipes, and really kind of make it a little bit more exciting every week. And I mean, the fresh fruit is always exciting, but just a little bit different. So we work with multiple farms in the area and then add these recipes every week so that you know how to cook what's in your box and you're not left wasting anything. And are all the farms in New Jersey or are they a little bit more widespread? A little bit New Jersey, New York, and Pennsylvania tends to be our food hub. And I like to think about our agriculture system as a, a regional food system. And that's what we really depend on is our kind of tri-state area, you know, our similar climate um, is, is, our, is our friends when it comes to agriculture. And what can people expect during the winter months when there's not that much Great question. Yeah. yeah, so it's gotten, we've had to get creative. So basically this week is a great example. There's always the carrots, the, the storage crops, the beets and a lot of squash. Because of our recipe, we do, do a, go a little outside of local when it comes to, you know, helping people make a featured dish. So we're doing Oaxacan chili relleno tacos this week. So we did bring in some poblano peppers, cilantro, limes and tortillas, handmade it with masa because we got to keep it interesting. We got to keep it fun. And if I can support those farmers with half of what's in my box, it's all worth it. So we mix it up in the winter. And you, all, you also offer proteins as well? Yes. Thank you for that. We, we do offer proteins night and day when it comes to industrial agriculture and small scale farms. And the small scale farms do not have the time to market their products. They don't go in the grocery store. It's very hard to get them. So I do have partners that I work with for chicken and beef and fish actually. And you can add those onto your box. And the fish, they're all amazing stories, but the fish is, it's called Local 130. It's for the 130 miles of the New Jersey shoreline. And it's, and it's local seafood and whatever's not local is sustainably raised, stuff you will not find in the grocery store. And it's honestly 10 times better tasting and, and quality wise. So I think that's a really special option that you can get as a customer. Yeah, it sounds amazing. And it's delivered right to your front door. Right to the front door. Yeah, I got my own cargo van. We got Illuminate logo. We're out there and um, it's every Wednesday and we use wooden crates. And when we drop yours off, we pick it back up the next week. So it's a nice way to feel like you're part of the club and it's a very ritual process. And you cook the recipe of the week and you go post about it in the Facebook group and share with each other and, and kind of get support on how else to use the ingredients. And my mother has ordered a couple boxes and she really did like the community aspect of people sharing recipes. Yeah, because I think some we're just we all get in a rut with cooking. We go to the same grocery store, we get the same stuff, we make the same things. And it really you see somebody, you know, make something and you're moved, you're inspired, especially when you know you have those ingredients. So it really helps to feed off each other and, and get creative what's what's in the box. And what areas are you serving in New Jersey at this point? So right now I'm from Maplewood and I started there. So Maplewood and South Orange are kind of the hub. And then we branched out to Montclair, Chatham, Madison, Morristown, Summit, Livingston, Short Hills, Melbourne. I think that's it, kind of our our area. It's a word of mouth business right now. So um, we're very grateful for opportunities like this to share what we're doing with everybody. People can order one off. And what are the subscriptions also like? Yeah, so we offer the one-time box if you want to try it or if you just want to get it once in a while. The subscription you can do every other week or have it come every other week, which is a better fit for smaller families. You basically just sign up and you can do with dairy, which means cheese and milk, or you could do no milk and you can customize it in various ways. 
Um, but if you're a subscriber, it's just, you know, without thinking, it shows up. And every Saturday we send you an email. What are the add-ons? We also do fresh pasta. This week we have uh, semolina bucatini. We do baked goods from Liv's in Melbourne or different places. So there's always some add-on that you're going to want to know about on your Saturday. And you put that order through and then it just shows up with your box on Wednesday. And what we love about local businesses is how they give back to the community. Our new business, but how do you give back to the local community? So I, a big part of what I've been doing, I thought it was only going to be about local farms, but the engagement and helping other small businesses in the area has been huge because a lot of them are having a really hard time. People are not coming in the door as much. It's just totally different environment. So the fact that I can deliver for them is huge for them. So there's a co-op in Maplewood of a Three Daughters Bakery, the Dry Goods Refillery, um, and the cheese shop and I work with all three of those businesses and I know it's been huge for them to just get in the box, you know, once in a while and, and to get deliveries to people. So I think going forward, that's how I want to give back and be part of the community. I, there's a way to work with pretty much anyone. I can work with anyone who wants to make a recipe. I can work with anyone who wants to help out. <laughs> there's lots of hands on deck. It's a kind of a, a hub and, and I hope a model that can grow because delivery, you know, is not going away. Local farms are, are you know, we need to keep supporting them. Well, thanks so much to Danielle for sharing the Illuminate Food story. It's such an inspiring story. I know we have definitely have to support local farms and local businesses and this combines both. So definitely check out their website and order a box and give it a try. Um, remember to buy local to create stronger communities. If you like this video, please share it and also visit buylocalnj.com. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you so much.